Welcome back, I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Angevin Dreams. Last time, Eloise, um, ended up having losing an independence war. As you can see, Sardinia, Lothringia, Wales, Scotland, Navarra, and a handful of duchies have become independent. Which is tragic because we were like 10 years away from incorporating England into the Empire. Now we're going to have to go to war with Wales to take more of it back. To take English territory back. We had gotten supremely overwhelmed with stress to the point where we had a choice between killing our heir and becoming a murderer and kinslayer or becoming a lunatic. And since, yeah, it's a minor health penalty and it's like opinion stuff and such and no actual stat penalties, we became a lunatic. So squirrels in the wall, man. Squirrels in the wall. Deal with that stress. We had a feast. Um, and now it is time to plan our grand wedding. Hopefully start popping out some babies soon. We're already working on, on not seducing, romancing our groom-to-be. So let's plan the grand wedding. I mean, in theory, I could have it up there so that it's closer to England. But no, the capital, of course. Right. There's a prince of Scotland called the Smelly. Wow. Oh, I wonder why Imar is not a potential target. Although, no, I'm not actually going to try to um, seduce someone at my wedding. Do I have any guests that I'd want to murder? The king, the king of Scotland's coming. King of Wales isn't coming. Not someone I'd really like to murder. No, I'm not going to try to murder someone at my wedding. Now, diplomacy with um, Byzantium, that, that's a possibility here. That wouldn't be a bad aim for my wedding. Alright, entertainment, let's get troubadour, yeah, troubadours and exotic fiends. Uh, food and drink, let's gargantuan meal. And wedding venue, silver and gold. This is the Empress, after all. Marrying the child of one of her vassals. I should... Uh, I can't customize my route, can I? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> I can't travel from where I am to where I am. Well, that's too bad. Alright, start Grand Wedding.
Wait, my scheme has been frozen? Because he's traveling. Okay, I can't romance him while he's traveling to my court. Got it. Oh, good. The, the independence faction has disbanded. Excellent. When can I go to war with Wales? 1099. Oh, that's so long. I have plus one from my stewardship? Okay. Well, what kind of war you got over there, Wallachia? Defending against... Ah. Uh, you're defending in a holy war for your kingdom. Got it. Ah, my little sister got married. Good for her. Have children. Alliance formed with Duke Simon of Armagnac. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, she just married his brother. Shadow, the meaning. I am out walking Shadow when suddenly I see my vassal Duke Domenge approach with a beautiful grey dog. Before either of us can react, Shadow and the other dog take off. I'm sure they'll be fine. Give it some months and maybe we'll have some cute puppies. Shadow, the meaning. My vassal Duke Domenge and I find the two dogs after a while, in the middle of a playful fight. It's good to see Holdfast having such fun. I couldn't agree more. Aww. And he's getting, gaining opinion of me. The Duke of Flanders. Einar, are you still... Oh! Did you already get me that clan? Alright, I currently possess claims on Bavaria, Scotland, Sardinia, Neustria, Burgess, Mallorca, Ibiza, and Menorca. Oh, you already got that for me. So I currently have claims to all of Mallorca. And I need to take Sardinia back to do that. I decided I was going to go for this decision to secure the Mediterranean. And at the time I made that decision, I completely controlled all of these large, uh, all of these uh, requirements, except for Mallorca. Now I've got to take Sardinia and Corsica back, which we will do, but that's going to take time and effort. I will have so many campaigns to go on. All right. Right now, though, grand wedding. Get married. Sedu uh, romance my husband. Hopefully have some kids. Do a grand tour. Visit a bunch of stuff. Maybe go to university. But still, visit a bunch of stuff to get some experience real quick. Get that befriend, get some diplomacy, get that, bef that befriend trait. That'd be nice. Perk, I mean. Start befriending all my vassals so they can't participate in, um, in things. Oh, there goes my next martial perk. Oh, 
four more knights isn't super power super useful right this second let's go for courtship yeah we'll take this tree oh i'm currently trying to romance someone too so that works i'm currently working on yeah okay we'll get Promising Prospects, then Loyalty and Respect, then Household Guard, before we finish up Gallant. Grand Wedding. Wedding Ceremony Starts. It always feels amazing when you have been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it. And then it's finally there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling and servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I am pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Aymar, appears radiant in his finest attire. Is England really poor? That's his finest attire? Um, I can't wait. Grand wedding, lost for words. My head throbs with the noise of clattering furniture and chattering guests. The strain must show, because my sister Carlotta takes my arm and steers me into the next room. And the sound of preparations dies away. We speak of small things, time passes. Times past, people we've known, not a word about the wedding, and we run out of words and fall silent. Enjoy a quiet moment together. Ooh, lose 45 stress. Nice. Wedding. Could it be you? Weddings are just politics. I steal myself as I wait for my future husband to join me. Just politics, I repeat to myself. How bad can it be? But nothing has prepared me for the moment I finally see Aymar for the first time. No portrait or description could do justice to the gentle look on his face. No poet has ever sung, have, has ever sung a beauty such as this, as his. Time hangs still when our eyes meet and everyone else seems to disappear. Then he smiles at me, and I know everything will be alright. Could it be you I've been waiting for? Oh, he becomes my soulmate. And gains 30 opinion of me. Nice. You and Imar the shops fell in love at first sight when exchanging vows. Aww. That's the second time we've had a grand wedding do that. Although this time we're actually playing as one of the um, spouses, so we got to witness it firsthand. Nice. As if organizing a wedding worthy of fa my family's stature weren't stressful enough, I also have to deal with Imar's relatives. His mother, Queen Agnes, arrived bright and early today and has been following me around ever since, complaining about this or that nonstop. I feel a splitting headache growing behind my eyes. She continues blabbering undeterred. These flowers will make Imar sneeze, and this wool is too rough. What about the color scheme? I know that Imar won't like it. Let's see, I'm sure we can find some common ground. I would gain stress either way. 88% um, chance that I impress her, though. Um, I don't see you paying for anything, so shut up. She'll lose opinion of me, and I gain dread. Well, that's nice. Or it's going to be just fine. Relax. This option is available because of your recreation and recreation. Intent. Oh, did he not come? So I can't actually try to do things. Yeah, it's going to be just fine. Relax, and I lose stress, and it doesn't hurt my relationship with this woman. Not that I need a good relationship with her.
Alright, is there anyone here that I want to murder that I could murder? Did the King of Sardinia not come? Well, that's too bad. No, because murdering someone's going to cause me a bunch of stress because I'm, um, watching the quality. Yeah, let's go with diplomacy. Yeah, how about Yarrow... Have the forgetful of Ulster. Confirm. Wedding. Condolences on your wedding. I pity you, Pope. Duke Adrian tells me. Duke. Yeah. I pity you, Pope. Duke Adrian tells me what married life is like, full of bickering, mistrust, and strife. The end of any peace, like me and... The year, he grumbles. Is this what my marriage to Imar will be like? Now your soulmates. The Imar is perfect for me. I gain 87% chance I gain confident bride and lose 45 stress. Not that I have any at the moment. Don't worry about me, I'll have my hobbies. No, nope, Imar is perfect for me. You are confident Imar will suit you. I am. I'm glad I told my servants early to keep an eye out for Jarl F Failby's arrival, because in the midst of the wedding preparations, I would have missed it otherwise. Instead, I am proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard, wearing my finest clothes and surrounded by a guard of honor when he makes his entrance. I am extremely pleased to welcome you, Jarl Failby. I am certain you will find my hospitality, hospitality most agreeable and be impressed by all the wonders my realm has to offer. Let's see, let me show you the gardens. Would you like to see the venue's preparations? If I fail one of those, I'll gain stress. But no, let's try this. 69% chance of favorable outcomes. So, would you like to see the venue's preparations? Oh, he was not impressed. Oh well. The preparations and rituals of, of a wedding ceremony are many. In a lull in, in between them, I hear some snickering and scoffing coming from a group of Imar's relatives. When they see that they got my attention, Leof Gifu starts addressing me directly. It's truly a shame we couldn't find anyone better for poor Imar, but such is life. Attention, attention who is now watching me intently. Okay. I'm the most powerful, yes, I lost that one more, but I'm still the most powerful woman in the world, most likely. Let's see, I will prove you wrong. The option is available because of your diplomacy intent. Uh, diplomacy challenge against Leof... Le... Leof... Leof Gifu... Leof Gifu... Gifu, sorry. The shops. Possible outcome. 99% chance I make a good impression on her. Oh, and that would also uh, impress the person I'm trying to sway. And 0% chance that it, I don't. Okay, I will prove you wrong. 
Oh, she likes me more. Like I care. My courtier... Clodelon has been wounded, and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fit, fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. There is nothing that can be done. Okay. Wounded. My injured mo mother. Oh, her too? What happened, Mom? Why are you wounded at my wedding? Don't get wounded at my wedding. At least I'm assuming you're at my wedding. I'd be kind of annoyed if you weren't. Actually, more than kind of annoyed. The ceremony went on a blur. I can barely remember all the steps, rituals, and blessings I went through. And now it's time for our vows, the formal consent, the actual seal on the marriage. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with Aymar? I mean, that's, that's inconsequential, since my, my father did arrange for this. Um, but yes, I do. Let's see. I will marry him. I'll gain 50 piety. We get Ruler's Grand Wedding for 10 years, which is nice. Robertine Dynasty gains 225 renown. Um, I do. As the ceremony concludes and we all move to the banquet venue, I secretly smile to myself, picturing the joys to come from my married life with Aymar. Not everyone can be so lucky to marry such a likable person. I wish everyone to share in, my ha in on my happiness. And let's all tuck in. Enjoy. The hall is awash with a riotous parade of acting troops, dancing musicians, and exotic charlatans, delighting guests and mass. Near my seat, to both King Nominoi and King Nuno share their opinions of the uh, on the display. Now this is how I like it, cackles Nominoi, the grand name magnificent affair. Watch out, Nuno spits, dodging a, hacked ju a hucked juggling ball. Bloody cavalier hiling hirelings, I can't even eat my meal safely. Let's see, I could uh, focus on the actual entertainment and lose some stress. Oof. Yeah, uh, Nominoi, I am so glad you're enjoying it. I still plan to have my revenge against you, though. But it was the diplomacy experience. Sight, taste, touch, smell, even sound. No human sense is left untouched by the scale of the, and the grandeur of the evening's food. A fabulous melee of art and fair. Near my seat, both Queen Isabel and Queen... Lucia, share their opinions about the spread. Oh, and another another of those, and those, thrills Isabeau. I do love a feast where you don't have to choose just a few treats. Bah, Lucio, Lucia curses weakly. I can't stand these interminably long meals going on and on and on. Well, get up and go do something else. Five hundred stewardship experience. 500? Oh, and Isabeau is the Queen of Lothringia. Though I'm inclined to agree with her. Um, yes, Lucia, things aren't quite how I imagined them. I'm being diplomatic for the sake of what betters me. 500 stewardship experience. So, out of curiosity... Where does that put me right now? Okay, so I've got 800 learning, zero intrigue, 750 stewardship, and 300 diplomacy. After observing Jarl Liebe from far away, I quickly come to the conclusion that I cannot just approach him and start talking about the weather or the latest med medical treatise or war and pray that it becomes an alliance. I soon spot Queen Lucia Bohemia across the room, known to be his friend, 
happily chugging down goblets of wine. Tell me where do you fail these interests lie, I ask attentive. Ha, huh, under someone's waist, I can, I can tell you that. Under someone's waist, wow. <clears throat> Uh, fantastic. Let's use this insight at once. With my newly acquired knowledge, I artfully approach Jarl Fylby, who, who's enjoying the feast and some others' company at a different table, where a rich cloth is laid. May we have a small world, Jarl? I ask. I wouldn't want to in interrupt your parliament. He raises his eyebrows, a hint of curiosity in his eyes. Well, of course, what matters brings you to me, noble Heloise? Okay, so any of these options... Oh, they have possible outcomes. Okay. But I don't get to see what the odds are on them. Got it. No, do you want to sneak out and find some fine guests? Oh, he's insulted. Okay. Got it. Emperor Imer tells Emperor Consort Imer tells a fantastic joke. Good for him. Every feast there's always one, every single feast, one long winded, ill born pissant, cornering people who will just not be silent. It's my mother-in-law. Um, I will gently exit the conversation. 60% chance I get a diplomacy perk. I'll roll the dice on that. On either way, I lose a tiny bit of stress because I am compassionate. Oh, right. I got that diplomacy perk unlocked. Room to rule would also be nice, but befriend. It's what we were what we were trying to go for. I can befriend people now. Oh, there is nothing like a feast. It just reminds us of all all of what is good in life. And the company is not too bad, either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You are something special, Heloise, Queen Lucia tells me. Count Garo and Pierre Raymond nod their heads in agreement. Well, I do seem to be getting fairly close with the Queen of Bohemia, so that's nice. I just do what feels right. Um, I lose... Oh, everyone seated close to me gains opinion of me, and I lose some stress. Which I don't... Oh, I have 5 stress, but I'll lose 35. Nice. Fine sculptures, exotic tapestries, strange foreign flower arrangements, and more festoon the banquet hall. A veritable feast for the eyes. Near my seat, both Queen Lucia and Malik Musa share their opinions on the decorations. Certainly not stingy with the coin here, are they? laughs Lucia. Well, can't say I'm afraid to take advantage of the hospitality. Frankly, I find it all a little exhausting, Mons Musa. I don't even know what's a seat and what's a decorative sculpture. Yeah, I'll be siding with Lucia again, especially since she's the nicer of the two at the moment. 
and of my faith on a neighboring ruler, and it'll give me another 500 stewardship experience, I'll have picked up enough for the perk just from her and this grand wedding. I picked many of the decorations myself, Lucia. Yep, I now have a stewardship on lock. Even though the first one is useless, um, we're going with meritocracy, because that tree would be probably the most useful for her to try to continue going down. Emperor Imar gained ten of pain of me, impressed, okay. Grand wedding. The wedding night starts. The feast has started to started dwindling down, with everyone seated and tired, sated and tired. But the day is still not over for Imar and I. A procession of guests leads us to our bedchamber, for the legitimacy of a wedding pens on its being consummated. It's time. All right, time to bed my husband, and hopefully create some children. Ooh. Grand wedding, ceremonial, ceremonial commitments. As the banquet reached its climax, Imar's growing anxiety over the imminent bedding ceremony was clear. My new husband turns to me as the procession sets off to to our chambers, pleading, please, can't we do without this over the hollering and drumming? No. Come, dear, it will be all right. Come on, dude, we're soulmates. Let's consummate this, all right, already. Yes, come, dear, it will be all right. All right, he concedes. Yay. He gained opinion of me. Good. I didn't want to have to force him. Um, I lay with an Emperor Consort Imar. Thank <laughs> Pregnancy. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, Emperor, I Emperor Consort Imar, will be proud. Um, already? I mean, I get if he just impregnated me on my wedding night, but I'm aware already? <laughs> Alright, good. Let's see. Imar and I are led to the bedchambers by the raucous wedding party, the echoing shouts and laughter heralding the bedding ceremony. The party deposits us on our garland and flower strewn bed before tucking us in, pouring cups of strong spiced wine and directing us to drink them. We gaze at each other happily as the party starts to depart, alone at last. Before the door shuts, my mother, Guliko, cries, At a girl! That's kind of creepy, Mom! Um, okay. Are we having a second wedding night, I guess? Oh, well, whatever. Come here, I've been waiting for this all night. 96% chance he is flattered. Um, or 3% 3, 3 chance he is disgusted. Yep, come here, I've been waiting for this all night. And of course he's flattered.
Grand wedding to conclusion, when finally the last guest leaves, I look around at the deserted venue. The food leftovers, the spilled wine on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter is still lingering in the air, and feel satisfied. What an amazing day. I did a very fine job organizing it. Thank you all for coming. Let's see, I married him, I gained a bunch of prestige, I gained magnificent host for 20 years, which does... Plus 5% monthly prestige and renown. Monthly diplomatic ex lifestyle experience plus 10%. Stewardship lifestyle experience plus 10%. Courtly vassal opinion plus 8. I lose 45 stress. I get celebrated magnificent wedding for 20 years, which is more percentage for prestige and renown. Nice. And more courtly vassal opinion. Excellent. Thank you all for coming. Yep, finish Grand Wedding. Alright, I am married and pregnant. Excellent. Oh, there's... Oh, these are populists. Okay. Oh, that's right, and my husband now takes his place on the council. It only gives me a plus five to stewardship if I have a managed domain. Yeah, managed domain. Well, it's not enough to get a further bonus. I didn't think so. Oh well. But it's what I need from you, husband. Ashes to ashes, rust to rust. One of my servants approaches me holding my rat spear. I have a rat spear. Uh, no, it's too expensive. I don't care about it. People, if I'm not using it, I probably don't care about it. Oh, and the Queen of Venice has created a uh, cadet branch. Good for her. Alright, Sardinia. I still have a truce against this man. Thringia, it's still the same ruler, right? We still have a truce against her. Wales is still led by the same person who led the rebellion, as is Scotland. Holland. It's still the same dude. Um, oh, that's Lothringia, okay. Um, wait. I don't know how you're independent. Unless you were part of the, uh, whatchamacallit. And if you were, then, um, you should be, uh, we should have a truce, but we don't. Regardless, I can offer vassalage to you, so I will. All right, excellent. All right, Lower Lorraine. How go things here? Oh, she's at war with someone. Who's she fighting? Eberhard II of Sion. Ah, one of her vassals. Okay. Good for her.
And now it is go time. It is time to go and mingle with the realm, and show off that we have an heir growing inside me. Mm. Let's begin a grand tour. Well, that's right. I have a dog. I can pet my dog to relieve stress. And that is a pretty good way to relieve stress. Alright. Activities is what I meant to look at, though. Alright. A grand tour. Plan Grand Tour. Nope, a Majesty Tour. Select vassals on the map. Um, can I not visit my kingdom to your vassals? Just one of them. Just Nuno, but I couldn't visit my father-in-law? Or my Queen of Bavaria? Oh, yeah, I can visit her. Let's see. No, never mind. Yeah, that's not really worth it then. I do need to travel, but... I could attempt suicide. Why would I want to attempt suicide? I'm not stressed or anything. Maybe because I'm a lunatic. Maybe that's what's letting me do that. Um... Once again, I'm looking at decisions, not activities. I guess because I'm just so used to, like, feasts and such, and hunts being under decisions. Um... Now let's go to university. Would it really let me travel all the way to Dagon? For my university visit? Travel to the opposite end of the map? Take a library of knowledge. Um... Oh, because it's in a hostile faith location, it'll cost me some piety, but that's okay. My goal will be to study hard. Alright, I need a caravan master. Princess Estefania? That were 2018. No, Princess Melisande. 15 and 25. That literally got rid of all but one of the dangers. 
Um, hire mercenary guards, yes. Train knights, yeah, that works. All right. Let me route this differently, though. All right, let's customize the route. Yes, we'll go to the capital of Navarra. And then stop in at the sites in Sardinia. Put into port in Cairoan. Visit uh, Alexandria. That'll route me by the pyramids in Cairo as well. Nice. Well, I mean, we can't go that close to Mecca without actually going. We'll go to Sana as well. Watch me like do all this and then it tell me that I can't actually do this route. Alright, we'll go up to Anjgur there. And that'll route us a little bit through some of these Indian areas. Alright, now let's work on maybe some things on the way back. Like... Pagan. And then... Kamarupanagara. And from there, oh, it looks like we're already going to Sampur on the way. Okay, then. Then from there to Trongsa. And then from Trongsa, we'll hit Patiliputra. Then Ayodhya, and then up to what's this? Naimisa. We'll go to Naimisa. And then from there, Indra Prastra. Down to Sakarai. And... Shakambahari. And then what's this? Akata? It's only routing it slightly differently. And it would have me come down here. Okay. Sailing across that way. And Nanshaf. Yes, let's put that as the next destination then. And then up to Baghdad. And Samara. That'll route me up this way.
It's like I don't need that way. Might as well go through Constantinople. Well, route me through the capital of Bulgaria then. If you're going to have me go like one thing away from it. into the capital of the Grand Principality of Hungary. One more stop along the way, let's go to Regensburg. And then to back home from there. I'll apply. It's gonna let me do this. It's going to let me do this. Let's see if I can get something for slightly better danger dealing with. Experienced captains? No, that's not as good. Yeah, train nights uh, it is. Train nights it is. Yep, start university visit. It's letting me travel all the way down here. Um, wow. Wait, the ruler down there is known as the Child Killer? Maharaja Bhairab Singh, the Child Killer. Great! Great, I'm sure I'll be safe at his, uh, um, whatchamacallit. Travel, a duel demanded. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've traveled. You might be less valuable after I win. Of course I win the fight. I'm Empress Heloise. I have a 58 prowess. And it's only that low because I'm pregnant. Travel of travels to come. Tell me, my future wise one. Your travels bode well. Nice. Oh no, what happened to my caravan master? Why is she not my caravan master anymore? Well, it says she still is here. Alright, but to see how this university trip plays out, you'll have to tune in next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Crusader Kings 3, Angevin Dreams, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have.